Hello everyone and welcome. I am Rob, the Manic Gaming Guy, and today we're going to be working on interior. Our subject car is going to be the Civic in Fonda, front wheel drive. In this video we're going to learn to put all the interior in and some little advanced tricks to help us along the way. First thing we're going to do is go over to the right settings, click on this little body, and that will take that away. We don't have much room in here, but if we can make some, I will take it. So we'll click on this little clog down here, go on body. Uh, the easiest one, first of all, is to take this chassis tunnel size, and we want to make that the smallest possible, because we're going to make our own one eventually. And then we also take the front firewall, and we want to start bringing that back uh, before it starts clipping the engine. If it go, go. I, I think it's already back as it go anyway. Uh, just one little clicky here and a little clip back. We'll set the chassis tunnel back to size. Now we've done that, let's get onto the fun bit, making the interior. So we're gonna try and use only automation parts, just in case you haven't found the mods and you're trying to copy this piece by piece. So we're going to go first of all look for this big square one it's automation default and just click on the first one and we're going to put in some floor i like to just click it randomly around here push the 3d keep the snap on which is this one you can change your degrees and that's how much it snaps to as in do 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 why have you just disappeared for me push this little one up here if you want to move it you click this one if you want to grow it you click this one like that i want to move it i've got my snap on there we go 15 degrees at a time so you can change it to 45 or 90 or anything like that i'm going to mirror this one that's this little button here that will flip that over i'm going to get this bottom edge of this piece and i'm going to line it up with the bottom edge of the car okay i'm going to turn the car body back on see how much it's flipping through i want to just poke it just back through make sure nothing's sticking out brilliant and then we change it with the either the yellow button if you can see it or this one to scale first of all we'll scale it down to our desirable let height now ideally if you're lucky you'll be able to scale it down to the floor no problems and then scale it across and that will give you your starting basic of the um floor we have got a bit of chassis sticking out here which is a bit annoying but what we're going to do is turn it back to the arrows hold your shift key click the arrow and that will duplicate it we're just going to move that up just above this little bit of chass chassis frame and then resize it brilliant i'm going to duplicate it again just move it over uh, Flip this round, get it to the other side of that. Where's it gone? Why has it done that for me? Where is it? Um, not high. There we go. That's a bit random. The line is up now. It do. I won't be too perfect. You can be perfect as you like. That's um, this is why I like to change the chassis size because it's just irritatingly in the way. You can use the uh, make invisible. Oh, there we go. That's helped a bit. That's helped a lot more. You can use the clog down here and go on to visibility, and you can make the chassis invisible. But it's a bit glitchy at the moment, so um, I probably won't use it until the very last minute. So I'll do all your pieces. Um, and then probably save your work and then try making it invisible and exporting it that way because uh, it can be like a bit funny why is it has i knew it did something a bit funny uh, it'll be all right i'm just gonna duplicate uh that piece we to oh no it didn't work we're gonna duplicate oh, i want this one shift duplicate i'm gonna move this one now i have duplicated it 
over here i want to make sure it's nice and tall move that bottom piece where it seems to be expanding from to the floor i'm gonna find the edge of this that works something like that ah there we go and there's the the chassis tunnels thing with bob that seems to be working it does look a bit tidy a bit too wide personally let's see if we can make it smaller we can make it smaller but we are going to have an exhaust stick in there but luckily the seats are going to be in the way so that's fine um we've got a huge gap so we're going to just get rid of that gap a little bit there we go click on that one can we move it down anymore we can we can do that and then we can take the snap off let's have a bit of angle to it there we go and then we can get a bit lower change the angle so we start clicking both sides and perfect that will do us it needs to be a bit changed here but you got to have back seats on i guess or some other carpet material so i'm going to go collect the first one again so i know that's flat you see and then put the snap on clone it bring it up spin it round and then this is going to be your firewall this is like an advanced ooh, advanced video so there's gonna be a lot of detailing going on but i'm gonna try and do it fast as possible take the snap back off to get some decent angle get the angle right with this this is actually quite high there we go and uh put the car body back on because you might just poke it through which we don't want do that put it back on it kind of needs a bit of lower i'm actually going to clone this again move that forward do 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 change the size something like that will probably work get that in line those little bits make it bigger and boom reason i like to do copy and paste is because now they're all the same width i don't have to worry about that i just have to worry about where they're lining up in the car so now we put the car back on nothing sticking through jump it we'll move on to the next bit that's the carpet done uh you can do your boot at the same time uh another good thing to use if you are doing your boots is get the wheel well you can put this thing on remember you can make it mirrored try and move it as low as it would allow it to go before it starts doing weird things and then you can squeeze it down you can move it in squeeze it down move it in and you see it's not quite cuffing your chassisness so you can do that which is ridiculously big like <laughs> if you saw that in a boot you'd be like what the sort of size wheels you plan to put on this thing but yeah so um you've got that there's always another tip as well you can use the same piece we're using for the floors or even some other pieces to hide all this because obviously when you're in the car and you're looking back even with all the body on let's uh, also use this clog here to make it so we can see what we're doing you can see all the dials and then the easy way to get rid of that is if you go into one of these and you can choose conforming one Put it right up to probably where the partial shelves are going to end up going anyway. You see it goes with the body. So we want to go sideways as much as possible before it starts flipping around the edge too much. That's probably about right. And then, oh, is that in the window? Oh, no, it's in the right place. That's cool. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. And then we see it's got these holes. It's because we changed this earlier uh, before on the body. Uh, I'll just have to circulate for them until it stops doing it. Too long. It's making some kind of weird scoop at the underneath side. So we just need to shorten it. And there you go. So when you look back now, it'll look like a normal piece of car. So that's um, about as far as we go now on this sort of thing. Like I said, I could put the carpet in. But would you just see me do it this. It's the exact same sort of basis, but with this one. You don't have to follow the shape. Just make it flat. Um, and then put the same sort of flat piece as I did to the firewall here on the back. And the next piece I would recommend doing is your dashboard. Now you can go all out. There is a lot of pieces in this car 
to do dashboards. There's also a lot of mods that you could download to do dashboards. Some of them come with like separate pieces. Some of them come with a full one. I'm going to try and find me a full one probably. Um, using a car without the steering wheel because I like to change the steering wheel. And one day, to, if I could do the mods, I will do that. I will change the steering wheel and use the mod to make it move. Um, well, coding or whatever you say you would do. What sort of. I might just stick to this one, you know, for now. Yes. My, my cars are English. So I don't. I tried to find ones without dials because I tend to flip it in and then push the horizontal button, which will flip it that way. You can use your vertical button to flip it this way, but I don't need to do that. I'm going to go to 3D tools, arrow, um, do, do, do. I'm going to put the snap on for the reason of it's now completely square of the car because of the way we use this square line and where I've placed it in the bonnet sort of thing. So I'm going to spin around one like this. And then you can take the snap off now if you really need to, as long as you don't try and spin it. Otherwise, you're going to lose your... Um, squareness to the original body so let's slap that on we, we weren't, weren't too far away were we let's move it up let's say probably like there looks about right and then is it too low yeah it's too low i think that's the problem i always get with this one isn't it always ends up looking too low i like was sticking through the things there i think that's probably where that would go in the car, I don't worry about it coming too far forward because in the car, you open a front door, you will see quite a lot of the dash side of the dash anyway. So I could probably even make that come forward a little bit more. Nah, we go that much. We could go up a little bit more. I'm just thinking maybe a bit more forward. Probably let's go there. Is it high enough? I wouldn't mind it a little bit higher. Is it too wide? What is the dash looking like? Let's look, checking all my angles now. Make sure it seems like it's um, square in the car. Is it too wide? I think it's a little bit too wide, you know. I think it's a little bit too wide. Not by much. Just a little bit too wide. Then we get a little bit taller as well. So it is a compact little car, this. We're not clipping through the windows yet. I think that looks fine. Not too high. It does look a little bit too high. Let's put a bit of angle to it. Now we're on the snap. Let's take the snap off. Don't want much angle because I'm going to ruin the look. Probably you know, that much. Yeah. We'll get away with that. And you've got like um, some dash filler pieces you can use in here somewhere. Do, 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 do. Or my little pie trick is I like to get the parcel shell filler. And not every car allows you to do it. Some of them trip out. But if you can get it to click in, make it wide enough. Does what? Oh, don't you dare. Like control said. Yeah, I thought I'd just changed something. It weren't meant to change. You scroll and click back on that. Make it wide enough. Now, nah, see, it's going to be a bit funny, but let's try it anyway. Bring it inside the original dash. There you go. You got your little filler the only problem is do it being a bit lower ah i knew that's gonna happen nah. doesn't always work but yeah you get the idea you can use that as a bit of a filler or you can fiddle around with the little dash filler as well which sort of does the same thing we have to do some filling in the kidding that kind of just fits in nice along that bit. I like it. I like it, I tell you. So there we go. you got your dash in now. Now, the idea with the dash is you want some working dials. So I recommend putting this race screen in. So just click on the side of the car. This one luckily stays square up. So that's pretty helpful. Keep your snap on. Rotate it so it's facing that way. Leave it up and move it in. Get it roughly into the middle. There we go. I'm going to make it bigger. That's about right. The angle needs to be changed a little bit. We're going to take the snap off for that. 
Now, I'm not sure, but this dash might let me choose. No, it doesn't. If it let me choose that bit of plastic on its own, I could turn it to glass and it will show for the glass and look pretty good. No, nope, control said. Um, but we can't do that, unfortunately. We can um, put our own glass in front, I guess. But for now, we'll just leave it like that. So that's cool. That we actually have working dials now. And obviously, you've got this thing down here. I bet it makes me... I bet I can do it to that little piece there. Do, 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 do. Yeah, but I think... It's an okay dash. You can change, obviously, the materials with that little pattern piece down there. But for now, we're just going to work on placing getting it in. And at the end, I tend to change the materials. Just because I'm making the unique ones, I can um, just click on a certain filler thing down there uh, that you on car is called and you can use that material easier if you just had it already rather than just going back and forth to it okay um we can put a stereo in i do like this thing it does do some cool stuff this is all automation already built into automation and we can maybe like i don't know we can put our like heat dials there and then put the weird thing underneath. The weird thing would definitely be a lot higher. Can we just make that thing disappear? I'm sure we can. Yeah, we can. The problem is... Where, where is it gone? There it is. So look, we can make that invisible. And now we've got this hole. But the other dash clips through, which is annoying. Well, I'm going to go for it anyway. We'll put this one in. because It was quite cool to see flashing away and we do have other dials no, no, that's a speed opening so i'll go in there one of these ones work then no, i don't think they do i think they just flash so yeah i'm gonna go for i've oh, got this thing here no that's also a heads up display do, 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 do. Is it? So I'm just looking at the pictures. I'm going to put this one in. Because it is quite cool. Right, 3D. Make sure your snap's on. Turn it over. It's quite deep, so I'm going to have to make it less deep. Unfortunately. Just take some of the coolness away, but oh well. Now I've got my little magnet on. And what that does, it locks it into the vertical line of the car. It snaps. I know that's now dead center of the car. Well, I know that this corner is dead center of the car. I forgot this one does that. Cheers, mate. Right, so I'm going to just line it up myself. Move it in like this. Move it so it starts clipping. And just square it up. I can then change the size. Of course, it's still being awkward. I'm going to make it a bit bigger. Actually, yeah, because it's the corner, I can just put the corner there and then go by that, can't I? Move it in. And then we can move it up. And then the angle of it needs changing a little bit. I can see it if we the top, but not the bottom. Oh, can't get away with too much angle. Eh. Okay, I can move the bottom piece out. Okay, I see what's happening here. I can move that out to about this. And then knock it back. Not too much. And then what we'll do is we'll just make it a tiny bit smaller. And adjust it in. So you can see quite a lot of the stuff can be fiddly. So I'm not going to do lots of it. I'm just going to do bits and bobs. So you can see the basics. Now... I'm going to put a different separate wheel in. Now, one of the reasons I do do this is because I watch um, Philman uh, do all this cool stuff. And one of the things he said in one of his videos on something to do with cars, that's it, it was, it was modding the steering wheel so they move. He said it makes it a lot easier if the mod is separate compared to other things. Obviously, you have to go into, uh, what is it called? Um, Blender, is it? That 3D crafting program which i really want to get into you have to go into that and um separate everything from it and he said it's a lot easier if you can just get the wheel 
and have it separate from everything else anyway. And also, what he says in the next one, I think he does, because he does that update. I think it's done about three of these now, is just put the wheel up in the sky and then do something that way. But I'm not quite sure what it was, so you have to go watch his video and subscribe because he does all the crazy modding. I just do cool, cool prop placement. That's my thing. It could have been a little bit more left, but yeah, that's that in. And the basics, you want to get your basics in if you want to make the car look awesome. You don't have to go crazy. You don't have to put every single minute detail in. You can do it. I think I spent about eight hours or something like that on a car, um, which is, you know, it's crazy. It's crazy to spend that many time, hours on a car, but it's fun. So we do it. Do it for the fun. And we need a center console now. And I know Automation have a beautiful center console setup thing. I'm just going to find that. I think it's this. So let's find all these separate pieces and move them in and see what they look like. 3D, snappy woo. I've got to go this way, surely. It looks like it does. All right, put that one into, put the snap back on into the middle. Move it down. And I'm going to clone it. And then because it's already got in the same set, I can change them to other ones are the same ones so we've got a flat piece there and i just want to basically see what sort of shapes we've got that one is oh that one just looks like a, a finished one anyway i think that's what we'll do we'll put that one in then okay so we'll do that click on these push delete and that's how we can get rid of those okay move this on down right we're getting quite a long video now you're probably hopefully getting the basics of what we're meant to do so maybe we'll go into a tiny tire lapse and we'll get to the end um why is this not snapping in i think this needs to be wider on it this needs to be a bit wider and what i'm going to go for look wise on this uh, this definitely has to be that that doesn't it and then we can put extra fillers in yeah we'll put extra fillers in you gotta put your pedals down now. So basically you'll get the idea then of what it's gonna be like. And what we'll do now is probably have a little time lapse of me. Just quickly finishing that up, polishing up, so you sort of see the sort of quality you got. And now automation comes with a lot of pieces, like to get you started. You could uh, even use some of these pieces on the side of the car. Like this. We want to make like body panel pieces and like like i said these ones more to the body uh you can even get special conforming ones that morph a bit slightly differently like they walk down and then i could paint this say the body of the car i can't obviously put holes in it but you can see that looking like it was like say if you didn't if you had a spare car that's like the metal panel for the car sort of thing yeah oh bit too far. and that's that sort of thing too yeah cool so you got that you can do also um i'm just gonna delete that if you go into this one you can do your roof so you click on this and i just want to show you a little quick tip the so if i was to do this do 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 probably a bit too big I've now got a roof covering. There we go. Uh, definitely gone way too forward. Something like that. I can do these curve bits, by the way. If I was just to clone it like I was doing before with the uh, other pieces down here, uh, I could clone it and then choose one of the roof. See, it says roof at the bottom. Choose one of the curve pieces that I need and uh, just, just slot it in. I clone it to get the same width and then I just make the size longer or shorter to depend on the curve. And what I was trying to show you, I don't think it's going to happen because I've already apparently done it, is normally this thing here is set to one. And all you do putting that roof panel thing in is block the sunroof off. But if you just click to send it with priority to a higher level, you'll be able to see through your sunroof. You've got a nice working sunroof. Cool. You can also change the glassy sunroof. If it was too tinted and you wanted lighter tint or you want to change the color tint, you can just change that. Uh, what would you call this? Material? You can change the material down here. You can change it anywhere you want. You can put wood there if you wanted. Was, uh, I do do quite a lot. 
but uh, I think it's quite looks quite cool. Like this would look quite cool with a wooden bonnet or something like that. Anyway, so uh, yeah, you can see the interior coming along. I need to put some seats in. I need to put some door cards in. There's lots of crazy other things. But I'm still finding as I go along. But I can put the door cards in, and it's actually like a door card topper. I think it's in this actually. Yeah, look, door card toppers. So like you you put this in here, click. And it, it just kind of morphs along the top of the car. I love, I love this bit. There you go. That actually looks quite good. I don't want to do... Oh wait, control Z. I want to do that way. There we go. And it should morph all the way along. Yeah, look, look morph along the body. And then you just use this. And you got that set up. And then you put your dog things in. Obviously, you'd line it up a bit better than I did. Like, uh, I'd probably use one under the front door. And then there was another shape, wasn't there? That like curved up. Use that on the back ones. So yeah, cool. I don't think there's much more you need to really cover when it comes to putting interior. There's maybe the small details that you've seen before, like door handles, uh, rear view mirrors. And then when you use a rear view mirror, you want to use the material chrome. Um, because that's the reflective one that re makes things look backwards. So if I just click on this, this material here, not steel, not like crushed metal. You go for chrome, choose that one. And then that will actually show the reflection of what's going on behind you. It's a bit blurry, but that's because it's in this game. So yeah, you got your working dash. We'll do some uh, modifications one day when we teach ourselves how to spin the wheel. And we'll teach you all how to do the same. Um, I'm pretty sure, hopefully, it'll just be a thing one day that you can put working wheels in. Apart from that, you know, you can also use the same principle for doing the engine. And um, cool, lots of details. I think uh, the next video, if you see me doing an interior one again, we'll do some more advanced things like making speakers, uh, maybe sticking a roll cage in, getting them to fit properly. But apart from that, this is how you put your interior in and uh, enjoy the time lapse. 